Hi, my name is Steve Young. I work for Astronics, uh, formerly Diagnosis. Uh, this is a short presentation uh, to show you how to search for data sheets. It's one of the more popular questions that I get asked when I do my training. So, um, so here we go. Here's a board that we have in our, our, our workshop a little while ago. Um, as you can see, it's uh, it's got a few a few ICs on it, uh, and if we zoom in, we we can see uh, several. Uh, components. We, we see the CD4001, that's a CMOS logic device. Uh, down here we see an SG1543J, uh, an analog kind of device. We have an LM555, which is a, a trusty timer. Uh, and here we have a PMI um, OP207. Uh, so these are typical devices that you will find on your PCBs in your, your workshop. So how do we find a data sheet for that in, for those devices. So, the first thing we do is go to our test view program, uh, and we need to check in our library. So we we go to our libraries tab, we click our libraries tab, and then we go to our device menu, and then we click browse devices. So when we click browse devices, here we can enter our part number. Uh, now, part numbers can cause a bit of confusion. Uh, and um, here's a tiny, tiny rule of thumb um, that I, I usually find helps in this sort of situation. So, so here we see a typical TDL, a TTL device, um, an SN74L LS245. Uh, so generally, um, the bit at the front, the, the prefix, is the manufacturer, simply the manufacturer. Um, the suffix, the little letters on the end of the device, usually indicates the type of package being used. So in this case, N is a plastic jewel in line package. Um, and the, the, the bit in the middle of a TTL device is the speed family. There are many, many TTL speed families, L, LS, ALS, etc. So there's quite a lot to choose from. So generally, when you're searching for devices, ignore the prefix ignore the suffix and simply search for the bit in the middle okay so that's a, a general rule of thumb that, that works so if we go back to our device here so so here we can do a CD4001 and you can see that as I'm typing parts come up in in the in our libraries so here we can see the CD4001. Uh, if we do the SG1543, and you can see there highlighted uh, devices already in the library. Now, using our rule of thumb before, if we just type in 555, there we have our timer. There's our timer in there. So let's have a look for OP207. And as you can see, it's not in the library, so we're going to have to go and search for this device. Now, if you're looking for just a data sheet, if you want information, you can go back to our device menu and you can use our browse data sheet function. So the browse data sheet function, if you type in 555, there's our 555 device and here's a data sheet. So that's already in our library. All the devices we add to our library will contain a data sheet. So where do we go to find our data sheets. Now, here, use your your uh, favourite web browser. Um, Oral Data Sheet is a, a pretty comprehensive website, one that I, I use. Uh, a data Sheet Archive is another one that I, I use quite frequently. Usually my first port of call, for no other reason than I've used it for years, is the a Digichip. Uh, pretty pretty comprehensive. They're all pretty much of a muchness. It's, it's just your personal preference. Uh, and you look for OP207. You can see that I've searched for this one already. I'm not looking for a supplier. I'm looking for a data sheet. So I click data sheet and I click search and away it goes. And here you see many different versions of that data sheet. And again, you can see A, B, E, F. 
So these are probably all different package types. Uh, we just click on the top one. We'll ignore the adverts. And then we'll download our data sheet. So here we can see our data sheet. There's our OP207 data sheet. Uh, and what we need to do is just click save and then we'll download this data sheet and then we can add this to our library OP207 and there we go so that's how you find a data sheet um, so what we'll do is we'll now in a future video show you how easy it is to add this device to our library um, so thanks for watching uh, hope to see you again soon goodbye Thank <laughs> you.